Welcome back. Well, I thought I might come up with another episode of having my own goggle box. <laughs> yes, I do. And if I will tell you something, in April, when the Owl House is finished, I will do a Disney version. Just on its own. Along the new TV series, Kip. If you don't know if it is, about a orange squirrel, a blue bunny, and some funny crazy adventures. It's now now on Disney Plus. Only on the 15th. Already out on Disney Channel or on their YouTube. But <laughs> I think the time zones are different. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sitting on it. So right now, I just watched Miley Cyrus's new Flowers Comp Disney Plus show. I can't actually see where it is. Now, I need to watch something. I'm gonna watch like Survivor or MasterChef, but I'm gonna do it on Paramount Plus because I don't like fucking ads. There we are. So, at least I am gonna have some fun tonight. Looking at what it is, I don't know. Ah, fuck! I so over loomed. You know what? I don't need to hear anymore. Bit crazy, bit funny, bit boring. I'm gonna go to Paramount Plus and watch a ch show from Channel 10 on there so I don't have to get these ads. I'm gonna be watching. God, it's so much long. Like, have a look at the TV I'm watching. Right there. Now, if I just find reality hits, yes. There we go. Holy shit, there's so much fucking shows to watch. Only some Australian and American content. Yeah. Which one? Like really ah. Fuck. Oh. I mean, he knows it's going to attract attention. Here we are. I watched one episode of these shows. There we are. I'm gonna watch. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here, Australia. So I will be watching season six. One of the narcissistic Perez Hilton and Charlotte Crosby from Jersey Shore. Yeah, it's a bit funny. Nice to see Perez Hilton getting punched in the face by Will I Am. The making celebrities. Weird. Like Ariana Grande, Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, Miley Cyrus, Kim Kardashian, and you can see some news reports about him. All on his vlog. But that's just the beginning. Let's just watch I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Welcome back to the magnificent South African jungle for our For the two years they were actually but we're not in South Africa, but we are with every single one of you in spirit. We know how tough you're all doing it at the moment. Yeah. This shit's gonna get a lot crazy. Isn't it? A huge love and respect, and thanks to those heroes who are bravely putting their lives on the line to fight those fights. This was actually filmed during COVID-19 before we had to move it back to Australia. And it's like boring. Well, my sister's coming home, I've got the aircon on, I have to turn it off. Oh my god. Celebrity is playing for a charity that they're passionate about. Yeah, Lots it's gonna be crazy. But now pretend I'm not talking to you, just talking to myself because I'm autistic yeah, and also listening to Miley Cyrus songs. Oh, Bell City Australian bushfires. We've had donations from Pink. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank are on the show. Yeah, but you know it's also time for my darling doctor for us to build back smoothly over here that we've got over there and beyond the title of the show, which is I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! I'm in <laughs> so I don't get sued by ITV. I'm actually shit on me myself looking at the TV. I'm freaking out like Oh, the 
I'm claustrophobic, Darrow! Hats in general? Yes, this is like a really crazy. I know my band is going to be pushed, but that's the reason I want to go here. You should come on, I need to see your faces. I want faces! I want to be pushed to boundaries. That's Charlotte Crosby! That turn. Only Aaron made it to the show from Love oh, Island for this Faye Winter bullshit. Well, I just heard right now that Faye Winter is giving some respect and starting to be really kind. Nice to see. Let's just talk about this show. So I just heard that Dr. Chris Brown, not the rapper Chris Brown, the doctor from Bombay, and the living room is going to be moving to Channel 7. I work in the best lifestyle show. Australian. Dr. Chris Brown, Amanda Keller. No, not talking about the fucking ABC. Australia, where Bluey came from. The American one, where Grey's Anatomy, Abbott Elementary, and Goldberg's World from. That's what I've been talking about. <laughs> so there's Miguel coming in. I'm very full on, I'm very intense, and I'm very passionate about everything. I like, get passionate about coaches. So, you know, it is, hopefully that passion is not too much for some other people, and I will promise I'll try to do time as much as possible. So uh, I keep a little bit of myself in my areas. <laughs> what a welcome, guys. That was pretty good. Can you sing La like Papa? <laughs> oh, I'm so nice. So what's my girl doing? Come on, back. This will be an opportunity for people to see all of them. My name is Liv Morris. And you might know me from the radio, from TV, a little known to Oh, yeah, my dad also Australia's Eurovision coverage. I'd like to think I'm not, but I'm very. Hey, I remember you. Did she play Bluey's mum? And I didn't win enough. Well, she's. Okay, I can remember her voice. That's where I'm going. Stuck in the jungle. Well, lucky Bluey and Dingo were not allowed to put up with female snitches. Whatever. This is all yours on your own. Uh, okay. I think talking to the girl. He was the first one to do it. I only know it. I know it's got a wonderful spirit and a great personality. And when I walked out, he was already talking to himself loudly. And I was like, whoa, this is going to be fun. Come on, guys. Somebody else come in. What's the same shit? Oh, that's annoying! Hopefully, it's a nice guy, you know, somebody who has been on their TV and hopefully they can go on. Not a bad guy. Hi, my name is Tom Williams. I'm a chippy. Uh, TV what is a chippy? And a dancer. I'm pretty much Australia's best quadruple threat. Parts. It's just like, I'm actually thinking about turning to 
I am so nervous. I have never felt this nervous in my whole That's Charlotte Crosby. What if I don't make any Oh my god. Please just tell me that. Hi everyone, I'm Charlotte Crosby. I am an international reality star plus party animal and you may celebrity be with me. Jory Shaw. 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 Jory Sha
got this shit here, she's going to too far. I told this thing on my pillow, what have we got here already? Damn it! That's my bed! I can't you wait for the same thing back in there. I think we all click very well and I think the cab builds really What's nice. Up, yeah. good. This shit was right, you know what? I am just gonna move to where the reality TV watched up here. The African jungle. Yeah, the only problem is that we still don't know what sort of horrific creatures still in the soil. Make sure that I don't see Perez Hills and the Oh my god, I'm not very used to watching these shows. Oh there we go! There we go, Perez fucking Hilton. Right here. I have not watched Love Island or And Billy. Now, what about Charlotte? I can't do it no more. Chloe was like that in all star show. Like if I'm not happy, I need go tonight. I'm disappointed. Oh, I, I thought it was Kim Kardashian going in. The master. How disappointing to have him replace her on I'm a Celebrity. Absolutely not. One this is torture. Torturing poor celebrities. It's our so I'm scared some of these people go on SAS. Or, oh, Why the fuck did I mention this selfish bully? Oh, I meant ableist bully. But me, I might got trials soon. Change that. Oh, our poor little angels are about to go through hell. And they're pure well, from now on, I am never hearing from her or any of her stupid friends again. Unless it's Kim Woodburn. Because I love Kim Woodburn. She's funny. She's hilarious. She's the queen of queen. She deserves much respect. And I will always be there for her. Invasion. Where we are in the jungle. You kept going, 
Here we go. I can't. Perez Hilton. That's adorable. Yeah. He's a good father. Oh, that's amazing. That's He's not good at other sports as well. And he's a good idea. Yeah, Charlotte was a bit slow this morning. Especially when I am. Uh, uh, she was like an adult. You just have to give it a bit more chunk and then once you've got a goal, she's, uh, she's now wiping very well. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm planning on going to Los Angeles or New York City, Jonesburg or Sydney. That's it. Or Melbourne, because I fucking live in Melbourne. Hey, that all of those poly things sound like good fun. Wasn't it great to see our jungle family frolic and how weird it is when we're not? It was a joyous reminder of how huge a part family plays in this show. Not just the families who get together to enjoy the fun, but also the, the families of the celebrities and crew. Yeah, part. I just don't know how to do it. Yeah, absolutely right. At this stage of the game, the celebs know that every day in the jungle could be their last. It's a prospect of seeing family again. Makes missing them that much harder. Especially when they're not here. Yeah, they don't have to be here for the rest of the day. They can be here for so much.
most deliciously dangerous game. Very soon, 24 strangers will descend upon this grand old hotel and band together in a bid to win up to a quarter of a million dollars in solid silver. And all they have to do to claim this obscene fortune is stay in the game until the bitter end. Moments after getting acquainted, four players will be secretly selected to be the traitors. The other 20 are the fake. And the names are clear okay, enough. Okay, so what am I about to see? These traitors, bloodthirsty days. Each night, yeah, I've only just started. I feel like I don't want to watch anymore. Inspiring and scheming to murder a faithful. Now, the traitors aren't exactly safe either. Each evening, the faithful can banish a traitor. But if they can't see through the traitor's lies, they could end up eliminating one of their own. Oh, that must away. I guess we'll be arriving any minute now. I think I will need a lawyer. Definitely. Actors to football players, nuns, bikies, to drug dealers, and chips. I will be getting one. Oh, I was getting one. What a joke! He's a difficult thing. Look at this. Wow. I think a lot you can't trust too many people. This house, I've been beautiful. Twenty-five years now, and I've been a very good bullshit detector. This bullshit detector is going to work over time to eliminate the lies, thieves, and cheats in this game. Nice. We need to get to know, to know more about these people. Actually, really. 
we now have to be strategic. You have to think about every single thing you say. Any tiny little thing anybody says. Okay, what you doing? You have to be switched up. To uh, to unfair competition. <laughs> you look like yeah, that's that friendly people, don't you? Yeah, you really do. I'm just a uh, just a bloke from the coast. <laughs> God, I feel embarrassed about doing this episode. And the game begins. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. So, Craig, what are you doing? I'm a regional account manager. Tell me about you guys. I'm uh, embarrassed. Uh, at the university. So, it's a pastoral care sort of role. I would love to watch The Bachelors next, so I'm going to do an episode about that. I watched a few episodes, but have not watched the episode. I might rewatch it again. My name's Nigel Brown. I come from Tasmania. Uh, I'm Tasmania! I've been really begging to go there. I always wanted to go to Tasmania. Because it's beautiful, it has snowy stuff and nostalgic places. That's why we wanted to go. We were ambushed just outside of Mogadishu by um, what I can describe as a, as a criminal gang. We held for a total of 460 days before a ransom was paid by my family. About 675,000 US dollars. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here today. And now my partner and my two boys is what I, what I live for. And I now work as a crisis management consultant and extortion response as a negotiator. As a hostage, I learned to negotiate, I learned to persuade my captors. I was really trying to make myself a commodity um, that they wanted to keep. Having that skill set coming into this game, I consider myself to be a very dangerous player. I hear people are Thank you. Yeah, she looks silly, but she's 
Yeah, I have a DVD of these two. I've watched two of those films. After I skipped it, I'll watch a bit, I'm ending this video. They on the look at everybody. What I just seems to there's a lot of fights in this show. <laughs> So what are they clapping and cheering to? Good to see ya. The events are starting to be laid on you. One thing we were saying was that we're kind of looking to see if anyone looks particularly tired. Yeah, that's right. As a faithful, my people are echoing, talking in the fucking background. This is the best thing I've ever seen so far. Australian idols have the most fun part. They're the most fun. Only it's Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey were hosting this season. Solid blue steel X model death step. Someone 
comes and knocks on your door and says you've been murdered. That's a first. There's like a million things you can run through your head. Oh look, we get to Millie, she's late. I'm going to take it that maybe people potentially saw me as a threat and that's why they cut me out so quick. Choosing to leave was definitely, definitely the right decision because number one, it has not put targets on any of us. Main objective, right? <laughs> number two, we've left everybody wondering why Millie. But well, why? <laughs> Oh, very good. Now we're here. Hello. Millie's not here. Good morning. It's already started. Or, or at least it certainly is for our traitors who succeeded last night in murdering the very... Come on, look at this. It's already... He's already in the building. And then we're missing one more person. Mourn our dearly departed. Oh my god. This is fucking brilliant. You've been double crossed. Oh my god, I just. Right. Now, to succeed in these chambers, both traitors. Alright, well, I'm going to stop this video right now because I'm at my end of my server for tonight. I have mental health issues. I will see you in the next episode. See ya.